Hello everyone and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to be upgrading my setup's microphone from the Rode NT-USB to the Rode NT-USB Plus. And yes, this entire video will be recorded with the new microphone. I first bought the NT-USB back in 2018 and it has been an essential upgrade to my audio quality in all of my videos since then. But Rode kindly sent me out the upgraded NT-USB Plus microphone and the PSA OnePlus Studio arm to give my audio setup an overhaul. So there are a few noticeable differences between the two microphones which I'll cover a little later on in this video but for now let's get all of this unboxed. As expected from Rode, the packaging is classy, straightforward, and most importantly, protective of the microphone and its assets. The box itself tells us a little bit about the microphone, such as its low noise, high gain revolution preamp, USB Type-C connectivity, headphone output, and studio quality processing. As well as this, we can also see that the box contains the mic, detachable pop filter, desk stand, ring mount, and a 3 meter USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. Whilst it's great to have a desk stand included, you're really going to want to pair this mic with a dedicated arm to get the best out of it. And from my experience over the last four years, I found the stand to be a little unstable due to the microphone's weight. As for the microphone itself, there is a very minute difference in the design compared with that of the standard NT-USB. The Rode NT-USB Plus has a few additional features compared with its predecessor. It includes an internal DSP or digital signal processor, a revolution preamp, and thankfully USB Type-C connectivity, which opens up the possibility to use with various other devices. Devices. There's also been a bump to the bit depth of the microphone from 16-bit to 24-bit on the NT-USB+. As well as this, there have been some slight cosmetic changes with a beautiful blue light and foam visible through the mic's mesh. Unfortunately though, still no manual mute button on this microphone, so I guess I'll stick with macros for the time being. Aside from the slightly refreshed look, especially when compared to my NT-USB that looks very much worse for wear, the NT-USB Plus has some great tech specs which make it one of, if not the best plug-and-play USB mic on the market. It features a cardioid polar pattern with a pressure gradient acoustic principle with a frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz. With an upgraded bit depth of 24 bits and a sample rate of 48 kHz, it's a nice jump up from the NT-USB that I've been using for 4 years. But this does come at a cost. The mic retails for about $169 or £200, and yeah, we really are getting screwed over here in the UK. With that said though, I think the audio quality is phenomenal for a USB mic and it can definitely put up a fight against some established XLR mics. That's without mentioning its practicality benefits over XLR mics, as you can use it with phones, tablets, and PCs with a single cable. Moving on though, Rode also treated me to their PSA1 Professional Studio Arm, which is a much needed upgrade over my current squeaky, unstable piece of junk that I got for £12. The mic arm boasts easy positioning, parallel movement, low noise operation, and either a clamp or desk insert setup style. And of course inside the box you get everything you need, which is the arm itself, the desk clamp, desk insert, and a thread adapter if needed. Straight away everything felt top quality. From its fabric sleeves to the cable management clips, I knew this was going to be a game changer. And you may not know this, but I've been using my old, clunky, and very noisy mic arm to record my top-down unboxing footage for years now, and it's been a challenge since it was so unstable, but the PSA OnePlus will certainly aid with that. Not to mention it looks a million times better than my previous mic arm, which is of course a bonus, but it will set you back about $150 or £115. And don't get me wrong, it is very expensive, but it's also top quality. And thanks to its innovative parallelogram spring design, your mic's position will remain constant no matter where you place it or leave it. I really can't put into words how silent, easy, and practical this mic arm is, especially compared to what I've been using daily for years. I saw that some people opted to place their NT-USB mics facing downwards, but I personally prefer it upwards facing. The good news is though you can easily change this depending on the mic you're using and your own personal preference. But that's enough about the mic arm, let's finish up by reviewing the NT-USB Plus. The NT-USB Plus is a fantastic continuation of the NT-USB's legacy. The inclusions of a preamp and internal DSP chip really modernize an already great microphone. Thanks to the internal DSP, the audio processing is done within the mic itself, which takes a load off of your PC. Various settings such as your noise gate, compressor, and big bottom can be adjusted through Rode software such as Rode Connect or Rode Central. The microphone gives off clear, warm, and even fuller sound when compared with the NT-USB, which makes it great for voiceovers, podcasts, streaming, and even recording guitar and vocals. It may well be pricey, but its practicality and functionality make it one of the 
best USB mics on the market. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel if you're new. Thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next video.